Hi, welcome back to Adventure Keeps Calling My Name, our YouTube channel dedicated to doing what we love, getting out there, exploring, having an adventure. And today's adventure is a little bit different for us. Yeah, it's kind of a spur of a moment thing that we had a hotel, a couple hotel reward nights that were expiring and we wanted to use them. So we're uh, still in Pennsylvania, but yeah. we wanted to still make an adventure. Yeah, only a couple hours from our house. Um, we went up north to the mountains and we are heading out right now to see if we can find the Pennsylvania elk herd. Uh, we have a small herd of elk here in Pennsylvania that are wild. Um, so there are a couple elk spotting areas we're going to go to and just see what we can find. Yeah, so it'd be interesting. Pennsylvania has, like, a, as Jamie alluded to, it has a small elk population and they have a, a limited hunting season. They only issue a certain amount of, it's, it's in the hundreds of license and to keep the elk population under control. But they still run free, wild, and it's really cool to go out and just watch them. Yeah, right now the cow, the the female elk, the cows, have calved, and the calves are a few months old. They're not huge; they're going to be pretty small. Um, so, we, I'd love to see a mother and babies. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, the male are neat with the, with the antlers. Although, do they have antlers yet, or are they still? Are they in velvet? I'm not sure if elk drop their antlers or if they keep them year round. No, that they, they do drop. They do. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll learn. It's a small herd. They're, they're not real common. Like we said, there's only about a you know, only a limited number of hunting licenses because they keep the, the herd small because um, they're huge animals. I guess they could have potential to do damage. I, I really don't know much about elk. I guess I should yeah. investigate <laughs> that. So we're going to go out and see what we can find. Um, take some pictures, take some video. We're taking our three girls with us in the good old CRV, you know, all-wheel drive. No four-wheel drive, so we won't be doing any crazy driving, but yeah. let's just see what we can find. Yeah, so let's go. <laughs> There's one off to the right there too. Can I see him? Her. There she goes. Oh, there they go. Down over the hill. There's a buck. Seven.
Okay, we are having dinner tonight at a beer garden in St. Mary. It's called Marion Stott. And our appetizer are pickled eggs with homemade ranch dressing. And it is really good. It's funny that it would be this good, but we weren't expecting it. But it's delicious. Right? Okay, Belle's going to try one. Maybe a smaller one. Or not. Jump right into the deep end. Let's slide the dish. It's good. It is good, huh? Oh, and that's so spicy. A little bit. A little pickly. Okay, last night was awesome. We yeah. saw like 20 elk. And we wound up on some back roads that I didn't think we would. But <laughs> it was really cool. Um... So this morning we're up, I would like to say bright and early, but it's not bright and early. No, no, there, <laughs> no. there's no reason to get up early. We're okay. We've had breakfast, we went back to the room and, you know, got everybody ready and stuff. So today we're heading out on a hike to a place called Umbrella Rock that you can kind of guess what the rock probably looks like. Yeah. <laughs> it's an easy hike because we have the girls with us and, you know, Belle is small and tires easy. So we're just going to kind of explore, have some fun, have some lunch. The important thing today is today is the world premiere of Disney Descendants 3. We don't have cable at home, um, so as a result, we never get to see things when they premiere. We see them the next day or two. But it's really important to our middle daughter, Betty June. She loves the Disney Descendants franchise, so the goal is to be back here in the room, pizza ordered and delivered by eight o'clock Yep. to catch yep. the premiere of that. Because you want your kids to enjoy the adventure as much as you do. And so sometimes you gotta make concessions. I would rather watch Shark Week, but <laughs> but um, this is for her, that's for her. And so as a result, this is gonna be a good memory for her. Right, yeah, every time she sees that film or talks about it, she'll hopefully remember maybe this trip. Yeah, so, you know, whatever it takes to get your kids excited for the adventure. Um, so today is going to be hiking and eating and snacking and Disney descendanting. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so come along with us and enjoy the day. Here we are out in uh, the wilds. This is a mountain laurel, which is the state flower of Pennsylvania. I've lived here all my life. Didn't really realize that this was the flower. Jamie actually knew it and she pointed it out. And that's what it is, state flower. Homeschooling pays off, even for the mom. This is called Island Run Trail. I don't know why. You don't know what's at the end of it, but there's a stream down there. It's pretty nice. It might look odd that the girls have on long pants and jackets in August, but you may not know that Pennsylvania has, I think, the highest incidence of Lyme's disease in, in the country, and we are trying to avoid unwanted hitchhikers in the form of ticks. So, they're all covered up. We sprayed our, ourselves down with bug and tick repellent already. And uh, not getting into the thick brush to right. stay on the trail. On a, on a you know, well-traveled gravel trail, hoping to avoid complications and still be able to enjoy being out in nature. There's another mountain laurel. Big sister. She's probably taking some pictures. She's a big fan of taking pictures of stuff. Okay.
If we were talking about Indians earlier, do you think any of them like would get into like canoes or rafts? Oh, maybe? I'm sure they did. Yeah, I need to pay more attention to history. Let's <laughs> <laughs> more about stuff like that, I guess. Okay, here we are on our second trail. And as we're staying on the simple trails with the that are, you know, nice wide paved. Not not really paved, but they're for bikes and for people and they're easy trails. So we can not be in the brush and not have any risk of getting lost. Because that would be bad with the girls. So beautiful day. Really beautiful day. There's a little stream, creek down there, river. Just enjoying the sounds of nature, man. Just getting away from the town and city and people. Letting the girls run. Okay, everybody get naked. Looks like a dog print or a raccoon or who knows. Just look in my eye. <laughs> I don't see anything. Is it a gnat maybe? Ooh, muddy, muddy, muddy. Oh! Are you okay, Daddy? No, I'm not okay. <sighs> that hurt. Adventure. Adventure's after. <laughs> Sometimes it's in the mud. Not video mom's reaction, but I did get that going, oh! Did you hear me squeal? Because <laughs> I was videotaping when I squealed. Did you get me falling down? Yeah. Ah, erase it right now. You should have put it in slow mode. That would be funnier. Oh, yeah. Boomerang. Hilarious. Boomerang. <laughs> All right, Dad, do it again. Yeah, Dad. <laughs> we need to redo that. Can we get a take two? What? I know. And that's why he has pants in the car. Don't worry about it. He has another pair of shorts. I have shorts on underneath. Dad. So step down and hop in the water. Dad, what if, it, what if it's slow as you know? Whoa. <laughs> why didn't you guys warn me about that? <laughs> hey, careful. It might be muddy. Warn you now. Did you mean? Save that one for the blooper reel, huh? Uh, no, notice no one ran over to help me. Nobody wanted to get caught in the mud. But it helped. <laughs> I have the snacks, Inky. 
She was saving the snacks, Daddy. She was, wait, wait, what was it from the lawn? I saved the food. And I saved you. <laughs> Let's see your hiney. Oh, poor Dad, Dad got a money butt. A little soggy. A little yeah. soggy. Fortunately, there's a stream here. You could take a bath if you needed to. How about you? Come in with me. This is my circus. Those are my monkeys. There's yet another spring coming out the side of the, the mountain. Okay, after our four miles of hiking this morning, we stopped at a little local place for lunch called The Summit. Um, they had a hundred different wing flavors. It was a bad day to be a vegetarian. But uh, the girls, Serenity and Betty June, got the hot. How hot is it, babe? Not that hot. She says it's not that hot, but she's... It smells, she's, smells spicy. She's cat fired. Serenity? Sweated, like, I'm sweating. Um, Serenity's sweating. Probably like a three out of five hot <laughs> yeah, scale. She's, uh, I don't know. Yeah, she's Her nose is running. She's sweating. Belle shows the plain wings. How are your wings, babe? Good. They're good, yeah. And we got them in order of fresh cut fries. And look at these fries. They look amazing. Dad got... What'd you get, Matt? I got French onion soup and a grilled cheese sandwich. I like grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. Try not to eat meat, and so that's a good option at Sandwich Place. And we got an order of deep fried mushrooms. Deep fried mushrooms, which were good. Which were good. I had uh, a baked potato, a loaded baked potato, which I didn't take a picture of, but it was. Uh, it had it had cheese and peppers, and some hot peppers, some some, sour cream. some mild peppers, sour cream. It was really good. I put some good. I put some blue cheese dressing on it from from Serena's wings, um, and I treated myself to a cranberry hard lemonade. Um, but you know we love the local places, don't we? Yeah, I'd rather go to a local place than the chain almost all the time. Yeah. So the local place we went to last night, I didn't videotape, but I should have. It was really good too. And tonight we're going to a local Italian restaurant. What's Before the place last night, last night was a German theme. It was a German restaurant. Uh, Marion's thought. I have a picture of it I put in. Okay. Um, but they had public some house. Diff different type of dishes. That we yeah, I videotaped the pickled eggs and ranch dressing. Yeah. So we're going to hit Italian tonight before we watch Disney Descendants 3. 3. <laughs> um, nice. So that's our adventure for today so far. Hi everybody, here we are at Rick's Dome and Pizza here in St. Mary, Pennsylvania. And we are here looking at the inside, right inside the door here, a couple really cool looking cars. This is a 1974 Dodge Rally. The car has the original 1970 Challenger TA hood and roof. And uh, it's been restored by the owner here and he has it parked inside just at the beginning of the restaurant. And uh, nice looking car and as I swing over here to the left we are looking at a 1970 Hemi Challenger convertible it's a really cool looking orange gray or a yellow green 
car here and you get out front here. I like the grill on this car. It's one of those classic older cars. You just don't see that type of grill anymore. It's really cool. It's kind of recessed in there. Um, but we're here for dinner after our hiking day and uh, we swing around here. We're going to have some pizza. I think Jamie ordered a cheese stromboli for herself. Belle got some chicken and fries. And then uh, my other daughter, she got a cold turkey sandwich. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, Serenity got blue turkey and cheese cold sub. How is it? It's pretty good so far. Belle got the chicken, chips and fries with ranch. I got a calzone, a cheese lover's calzone. And Dad and Betty June got this really nice looking pizza. Yeah, there's tons of cheese on it. Cheese and mushrooms. And it's homemade dough. They're known for their dough here, so. How is it so far? You I took a bite, bite and uh, it's very good. It's good. Dough's good and there's a lot of cheese on it. And Which is nice. all you want for yeah. pizza. <laughs> Okay, well, we have had a great weekend up here in St. Mary's, Pennsylvania, visiting the elk herd and doing some hiking, getting out in the outdoors. Yeah. So we're uh, leaving our hotel. We stayed at the Holiday Inn Express up here and uh, it was a nice hotel. It gave us some breakfast in each morning and um, yeah. so we're heading back home now. Back home, back to the real world. Grandson's coming tonight to spend the night. Always an adventure at our house with him. <laughs> <clears throat> so remember our words of advice and life experience is adventure is out there. So go have an adventure. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>